Hey guys, it's me Luis, I'm sorry, no videos for uh, almost in a month It's because I'm here stuck in the body shop We have uh, one storm with hail damage So it's, everything is damaged over here So two cities, three cities with damage So I'll be here for maybe another month And after that I'll be ready to put more videos Now just today I want to post this one This is an 87 Chevy So we're going to blaze it, of course We're going to put two quarter glasses and one windshield Now this one is a gasket So I'm going to show you one technique I learned from my masters, they call the rope technique. Let me show you which one, okay? So first one, you need the rope, and you're gonna tie it on any side. You can be on the driver's side, on the passenger side. This stays, I'm gonna go to the passenger side. Let me go on that way. After you tie, you're gonna put it inside the gasket, okay, by the channel. Okay. So finally, let me show you a little more on this to the right. So you guys, I got my suction cap attached to the hood. Right there, you see? So the line is here. So let it out, and now we're gonna be ready to set this one. It's gonna be a little difficult. I have my anchors on the top because I need something to hold it because I don't have partners here. So let's get the glass. Uh, now here is the deal. The glass is gonna be too high. So what I'm doing now, let me hold one side. I'm gonna hold this side. Doing the same, we're gonna go on the top first, pushing that way, get the top, open it, and push up. There you go, and just clamp. Now, as you see, I got the gasket already in place on the top. You see, this is the part it has to reach, okay? That's normal when it's a new gasket. So now, the bottom here, the tricky will be like this okay I'm gonna just go inside with the gasket to the corner and in this especially in this part I'm gonna start pulling the rope you see the rope is pulling the windshield in the place okay push a little bit push up there you go you get the first corner in like this let me see, I don't see if you see this part, but you see the gasket. So you're not continuing, just pulling. There you go, you see that? Got it right there. The lubricant I put apply on the gasket is drying because the sun is really hot. A lot of sun. You see it's almost in. So now I'm just continuing. Pull in. You see, the gasket is coming inside. So I don't want to push in because I have to get the other side of this going to be too tight and break the window. So let's go on this part. Careful with antenna. I use this technique while I'm working alone, okay? This is the PBB, so don't worry about that. Almost in there. Don't push in or it's gonna just break. See that? Okay guys, as you see, my gasket's in inside, so no problems. Especially with this brand new gasket, sometimes we're short on this area, and it's really difficult, so that's why I use all, I know it's a lot of work, but when you're working by yourself, oh, I'm sorry, this is a rape painting, I don't wanna just scratch over here. Okay guys, so let me show you. You see, my gasket is inside, and I did by myself because sometimes you need two person when it's the brand new gasket. 
Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go to the quarter glasses and next end of the next month we start recording more videos it's just because you see I gotta do R and I's and replace windshield so I'm busy. Okay guys, so see you next time. Okay guys, so we back on this one is a 2017 uh Silverado. So we're gonna pull the windshield laser R and I, so we're gonna reuse the glass. So today I'm gonna replace this one and pull it out with my orange patch. So I already set my line. So we're gonna just start making the cut. So remember, if you're gonna start cutting from the corner without just, I mean, it's just gonna just make one move, you're gonna fit more line in your system, okay? So usually eight times from your shoulder, from here is eight times. If you wanna get corner to the corner, we're gonna start probably on this position, a little more close to the area you start cutting, you have to use less cord, okay? So remember, it's my XNX96, XN96. So let me start cutting here, the top first, I'm gonna lock the bottom first. You can start from the bottom or the top, no matter. All right, let's start cutting. You can use your line to don't catch your pillar pino side. The headline is down, so that's good. But I go slow because let me show you. My line is going to be, you see, there's a gravity stop, but I'm pretty close to the pitch wheel. So I'm going to cut the gravity stop, but I'm going to help my line don't be stuck with the pitch wheel. Because remember, when we have the pillars or the headline, it helps a little bit to don't touch the edge of the pitch wheel. There you go. I'm going to break the gravity stop. There you go. You see, the gravity truck is broken. I'm going to play guitar. You want to help your line. Like that. And now, I'm going to switch the place for the lock. <clears throat> Okay, so we're gonna start cutting now the bottom. Remember, just use the torque cut right there. Okay. And now the only we have to do just take the lock out and just reposition one time right here grab the stop remember we're gonna just careful here and that's all guys let's see the results remember I'm gonna reuse this windshield one more time it's not broken we saved the, the molding too I set the line under the molding because in that way I don't have to use universal molding I gotta reuse the same OEM molding and it's gonna be much much better okay so as you see it's not damaged it's completely clean the interior even the opposite foam is still intact and we're done okay guys so see you in the next shot I'm gonna put this glass in the rack in the back and see you in the next. See you next, guys. I'm gonna protect uh, the interior this time because these ones go very close. You can see how it's cutting. Sometimes it's gonna touch the bracket, maybe not. You can go more faster if you want. Remember, we have a gravity stop, so we gotta get careful with that bracket. Do you see the tension? It's a lot. Okay, as this part you see, sorry, it's gonna stick. You see, we're more close on this area, so you can just go more down or more, you know, you can even more, a little more lower, but it's not gonna make any problem because you're gonna protect it, you know, the headliner using your protector. Okay, so I'm gonna do now is cut the bottom. 
I'm gonna reduce the tension with the tool. But you can start any any spot. There you go. Remember, we're kidding with torque, okay? Not with the speed. The speed is not good. The speed can break the line or break the windshield, so that's why we have to go just kidding with the torques on the on the on the on the grill. That's a lamination, that's normal. Especially on these vehicles from Chevy. Very slow, slow. I'm gonna stop when I go almost straight. Right there, okay? So take them off. Now we're gonna lock this side. Sorry, I don't see this car, it's really dark. Put these windows. All right. So now I'm gonna protect my headliner. Remember how the gravity stops on this part. Okay, careful with the wires here. Now let me go to the other side, it will be more easy. Hi man! Okay, and um, we're gonna just pass this area here. Right there. Well, I almost straight with this area, so what I'm doing on this one move, we're gonna just move the system over here. Right here, just to get a little room to protect my dashboard. I'm sorry, my headliner. We're gonna lock this one. Okay guys, so as you see, that easy was this cut and your line is inside the system. And to reuse it one more time, two more, a lot of times you can reuse this line. Probably more than 10 and that's it. Uh, pretty clean. So as you see, we got the gravity stop just broken. So no problem, just to take them off, you see, it's very clean. I'm ready to reuse the glass. Okay guys, now I'm gonna take the Colorado and see you in the next shot.